Protein Synthesis Project by Reedy and Aoife. Transcription is the first step in protein synthesis. It starts in the nucleus. The DNA in the nucleus needs to be replicated into an mRNA strand. In the nucleus, the enzyme RNA polymerase unwinds and unzips the double-stranded DNA. Complementary base pairing then begins. The RNA nucleotides base pair with one strand of the DNA. The enzyme polymerase will also bind the nucleotides together, creating a new mRNA strand. The enzyme polymerase will then get released, the DNA will rewind, and the new mRNA strand will be sent for processing. The mRNA strand is then processed to remove the introns. Introns are non-coding regions of the mRNA strand, therefore they must be removed, thus leaving the exons, the protein coding regions. This process is done by the SNRPs through splicing. The chored mRNA strand is now ready to leave the nucleus and into the cytoplasm until a ribosome attaches to lead us into translation. A ribosome attaches to the mRNA strand, then a transfer RNA molecule containing an amino acid binds to the P site of the ribosome. The anticodon base pairs with the start codon of the mRNA. The following tRNA binds to the A site. Once the second amino acid is in the A site, a peptide bond is formed between the two amino acids, gradually forming a polypeptide chain. From the P site, the amino acid moves to the E site, eventually exiting the ribosome. The second amino acid then moves into the P site, and a new amino acid appears into A site. As this process continues, the polypeptide chain elongates. This process repeats until it reaches the stop codon. A protein called the release factor binds to the stop codon in the A site. The release factor causes the chain to separate from the last tRNA. The protein is now complete.